first i'm using nyb concealer in the shade coffee pretzel and i am applying that as my eyelid base then i will be moving on to my eye makeup even if you don't have any kind of pigmentation in your eyelid make sure you're priming it really well then i'm using color bar compact powder in the shade sandy nude and i'm applying that all over my eyelid to just set it in then i'm using this shade in faces canada ultra Time pro eyeshadow palette in the shade rose and i'm applying that all over my crease a little bit above my crease I am using a bigger fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending everything in. I just don't want the look to be harsh. Usually they create warm toned bridal makeup look but I just want to create a cool toned one. It's kind of different but I just want to do that. So I am creating a cool toned eye makeup. Then I'm using this darkest brown shade from the same palette and applying that on my outer corner. I'm not going all the way into my crease. I'm just applying that on my outer corner and dragging it outwards. This time I am using a brush which is little bit smaller than the previous brush. Take some time and blend everything in because patience is very important when it comes to makeup. Then I am using this cool tone shimmer shade from the same palette and applying that all over my eyelid. I'm not going above crease or into my crease. I'm just applying below my crease. As usual, I'm using my finger to get good pigmentation. Then I used the same dark brown shade from the same palette and intensified my outer corner. I used Color Bar waterproof eyeliner and applied a good dramatic wing liner. Wing liner is very important when you're doing bridal makeup, especially if it's South Indian makeup look, you have to do a wing liner. Then only it will look amazing, dramatic and really stunning. Before drawing the wing, I just wiped that excess amount of eyeshadow near my eye and then I moved to my wing liner. Then I'm using my favorite Biotic Morning Nectar Moisturizer and applied that all over my face except my eye and then I massaged it. Then I am using Sugar's Primer and applying that near my cheeks, my nose and my chin. I'm just hiding out all my pores and this primer is really good in doing that. Then I used the NY Bay concealer in the shade Orange Pretzel and I used it to hide my dark spots, my pigmentation and all those bad dark things. This concealer is not too orange so if you are duskier or darker then this will not suit you. Even for me this was looking a little bit of pinky and peachy but then I managed that with my foundation. Then I used Color Bar Mousse Foundation in the shade Lotus Fair and I dotted that one side of my face and blended it out with a sponge. I am building two to three layers of this foundation because this gives like medium coverage and I want kind of a full coverage. So I am building this up. So if you're using this foundation, you can definitely build it up and it will not look cakey or bad. I used a hell lot of foundation because I have that orange concealer on my face and also I have to hide my dark spots and everything. So I used a lot of foundation. Then I moved on to my other side and did the same thing. Once done with the two sides of my face, I am applying little bit of foundation on my forehead. I am not forgetting my neck and my ear. I am applying my foundation on my neck and ear too. Again, I am using NYB concealer in the shade Coffee Pretzel and I am going to conceal my under eye. I do have fine lines underneath my eyes so I am just not applying a lot of concealers and a lot of brightening concealers and all. It is just one concealer and I am just good with that. Then I used this Sugar's Ace of Foundation Stick in the shade 06 Lango and I am using that to contour my nose. I am not going to contour my entire face, it's just going to be my nose. I am applying a little bit in the sides of my nose and I am just blending that in with a sponge. Again, I used NYB Concealer in the shade Dark and White Chocolate Pretzel. This shade is like too lighter than me, so I used that to brighten my nose. I'm just applying on the bridge of my nose. And also, I'm highlighting my chin and I'm doing reverse contouring. So, I'm applying that right below the hollows of my cheeks and I'm just blending it. I bronzed up my face using this Faces Ultra Pro Face Palette in the shade Fresh. I used angled fluffy brush for that. I'm applying that right below my cheekbone on both of my sides. 
for blush i'm using the same palette in the same shade and applying the blush on the apples of my cheeks i'm smiling and doing that smile is so important so keep smiling then i'm using this highlighter from the same palette and applying that on my cheekbone nose chin and forehead i'm not highlighting too much for this look then it will look so dramatic and so like a badass i just don't want that i am giving a subtle glow to my face after all these steps i'm going to set my face a little bit using the color bar compact powder i'm not touching my highlight area my eyelid my eye makeup and everything i'm just touching up near my cheeks my forehead my neck and everywhere then i use take worky liquid lipstick in the shade red killing it it is so good this lipstick is such an amazing red lipstick and i'm applying that all over my lips and i'm finishing that look so that's it you guys a very happy new year to all of you i love you all keep smiling be strong stay strong stay happy and this year is your love you all for supporting me let's grow together let's find happiness together and let's be happy bye bye guys Mwah.